Hello, welcome back to another episode of Two Dudes Drinking Beer. My name is Josh. My name is Alec. Today is Wednesday, the 24th. My calendar is correct. I also have it down there. I got multiple places to cover my Thank fucking God. The ass. beer smells like Taco Bell lettuce, and we're <laughs> on our way. Today's episode is brought to you by none other than Jack Jaw Manifest with the Jaw of Attraction. Uh, if you want to have a jaw exerciser, build your jaw muscles, and tighten your skin, go over to two dudes drinking dot beer. Click the Jack Job to be taken to the Amazon page and go get one yourself. They're only 15 bucks. I'm currently on day five. I say day five, but it's really been like almost two weeks now. But uh, We're going to drill it into your fucking head. Just kidding. We're going to... We're going to probably stop after a week and then come down. back with the... Uh, we're going to remind you every so often. Sorry, sorry for uh, opening up your jaw and shoving Jack Jaw down your fucking throat. But Even Snoop Dogg likes it. Snoop Dogg is an advocate. Yeah. It is brought to you by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Officially Snoop Dogg, and brought to you by Jack Jaw. Officially and unofficially. Sweet. Today we are drinking. Wait, did you read your beer now already? No, I want to pass out the beer first. Oh, okay. That Talk was, that was the one I had. Today we are drinking Propaganda Pilsner. Pee pee. <laughs> it pee -pee. Is, it's a Pilsner. I'm a Pilsner guy myself. Oh, you Pilsner? I like a fine Pilsner. That's the. Said ah! no one ever. Ah! <laughs> That's the Taco Bell lettuce for you. <laughs> I think that's just what Pilsners do. <laughs> <laughs> they make the ooey gooey. <clears throat> you just slip it up. <laughs> Today's 2DDB FFOTD, the fun fact of the day, the bean out, the butthole. The butthole. Is that human teeth are just as strong as shark teeth. So, you know. If you have a jack jaw, you can be a shark. <laughs> if you have a jack jaw, you'd be stronger than a fucking shark. I would say strong as. Their you bite have, force you, is definitely stronger you'll than ha, You'll have shark teeth and alligator jaws. Are their jaws are as strong as us? Uh, no, alligators are like the strongest jaws in the world. I thought it was pit bulls. No, why the fuck would it be pit bulls? They have a really strong bite force. Yeah, because they're trained. Alligators are just born with it. I think they train for it. No, I guess when they fucking survive. It's a saltwater crocodile. Yeah, that's what I said. You said alligator. First of all, wrong animal. What's the difference between a fucking crocodile and an alligator anyway? There's like, I remember growing up, I remember thinking one didn't have legs. I, th I thought it was like, <laughs> like I thought a snake. I thought one was just like the snake of the fucking swamp. But apparently, it's like one belly drags and the other one's got like an armored, armor, different armor set. What's, so what's, the one, the, what's the one with the A? Alligator. <laughs> okay. I, I was thinking of Ari, I was thinking of Aerodactyl. I forgot what it was Aerodactyl? called. Aerodactyl? Yeah. That's a that's an that's an animal? That's a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking who would win in a fight? Uh Aerodactyl. Do, do you have you do you know what Aerodactyl is? Uh, can we focus on the Gallic alligator thing? The al Hold on, you gotta see what Aerodactyl is. Alligator? Like. That's Aerodactyl. I've seen him. Yeah, so he'd obviously he kick the shit out of an alligator, regardless. Uh, snout shape. Alligators have a wide, rounded, U-shaped snout, while crocodiles have long, pointed V-shaped snouts. Crocodiles are different from alligators in this sense, while both upper and lower jaws of a crocodile are the same size, exposing their teeth as they interlock, creating a t look of a toothy grin. Why? They're so in like the serious. same. They're in like the same family, but they're still different animals. <laughs> but they look so much alike. Yeah, it's like same species, but different like. It's like, this spider is black, this spider is brown. It's like how all dogs are dogs, but there's like different breeds. Well, let's actually... Let's, yeah, let's, let's get to let's back to the drinking. point of the show. It tastes like nothing. Don't like it. I like it. You're not a Pilsner guy? It's very dry. It's like it, almost it, dusty flavored. It tastes like fucking nothing to me, and I love it. I want to lower this, but... I'm going to lower the bass at the same time. And the cable's in the way. I don't want to undo the clip. We had an hour before the show started. Yeah, and I was doing everything over there. Mm. Leave me alone. Maybe take some time to treat yourself, dog. Everything about that? Maybe you got to... I did it. Maybe you got to take care of yourself once in a while. <clears throat> yeah, I was doing my stuff. Give the beer a shot. A shot? A shot. Like, give it a chance. I am. I'm drinking on a podcast. Keep drinking it here. I am. Here. It's not disgusting like, uh, what was the one that was disgusting? Philosophy and Velocity. 
That was because it's a uh, stout, though. Because you can't fucking read. Th- there's another one <coughs> that was just really bad. Is it on the wall? Uh, it shouldn't be. It doesn't deserve it to be up there, but I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking. My board is blocking me. Yeah, no, everything. Oh, you didn't like soul because you think that tastes dusty. I know soul tastes dusty. This I is like a it. little less dusty than soul. This is this is drinkable, but but not sure. It's like it's not really like a. I picked it because I love the fucking can. The wolf. The can the, is really cool with the sheep on it. The third eye. Yeah, I love the the fucking World War Two bombers. And there's like, I'm gonna say Holland in the back. Pick a place. I got bombed during World War II. What place didn't get bombed? America for the win. Well, Hawaii did. So not the mainland. Pearl Harbor. Yeah. How did we... Oh, no, never mind. We talked about that already. Like, how we got... How we obtained Hawaii. Pineapples. Yep. That's where they grow. Um, I can't see shit about this brewing company. <laughs> it's it's hard to read on the can. <laughs> yeah, the 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 orange and the black makes it super hard to. Okay, I guess it's a sixteen. You need to, like to tilt it in the light. Alcohol by volume six. Yeah, it's got the Halloween theme. Love it. That's cool. I mean, it's it's a beautiful can. It's just like I like reading things. I'm just like. You're a sensory dude. Yeah, I'm very like. Sensory. Sensory, I guess, is the word, and I'm just trying to focus on this now because I can't put it down until I see what I want to see. And now I'm just kind of lost in the sauce over here. Yeah, you're a you're a sensory dude. Very, you have more sensitive. Very, senses. yeah, very very sensitive guy. You're like, oh, this tastes dusty. I'm like, I can't taste anything. It's like the taste, the smell. Uh, I trained my ears. Uh, it smells good. It smells like. Weedy. <laughs> it does actually smell pretty good. So smells great. Tastes great. I'm gonna drink a fuck ton of these. It does smell really good. Well have you ever had like another Pilsner? Yeah, we've had a bunch. Those aren't Pilsners. I mean, some of them are. No, I don't think we've ever <laughs> We've for sure had Pilsners. You need to start you need to start updating the two dudes drinking beer list and you need to say the it name is, of the beer. It's on there. You need to say the name of the beer and then you need to say um, the kind. Dude, we don't drink Pilsners. Name some. We drank some with uh, Oscar, for sure. Oscar loves... No, Oscar loves white uh, white ales. Or Belgium ales. Just ales in general. All ales. I'm looking at popular Pilsners, and it just takes me to the fucking store page. Maybe it's featured on the website. Because, like... Hear Pilsners before. Pills. Pills. No. They're obviously boring enough for Teddy to not get the girl. That's my point. It's like, it does just taste super boring, doesn't it? I like how it tastes. I'm boring. I'm Teddy. You said you didn't taste it. Yeah. It tastes like nothing. It's easy to drink. I like it. The only the only upside to this beer is that it's got a high alcohol volume. Six percent? Modelo is on this list. Hell yeah, Modelo's a Pilsner. We drink Modelo all the time. Uh <clears throat> That's the only uh I guess the fucking super German beer. Yeah, that that's that's the one I'm ever picking out. That's a Pilsner. So so far that's the only one. I wouldn't And Modelo. I wouldn't count Modelo. You as have a to count Modelo. Saint Pauli girl. So like German era <laughs> German brewing beers? Yeah. More likely. This is the last page I'll go through Corona Familiar. Corona Familiar. Yeah, Fuck had, yeah. You've only had that on the show. Pacifico, we've had Pacifico. Have we? Yes, of course we have. At least once. And then we haven't had Dos Equis. We could do Dos Equis. How the fuck is Sour Monkey a Pilsner? Fuck yeah, dude. I told you we've had Pilsners. There's so many. I wouldn't even think these are Pilsners. That's weird. Paps Blue Ribbon. Oh, the fuck did you see that? Oh. <laughs> right there. So we've had like six. Yeah, that's a ton. We've had a bunch of Pilsners. Out this of is our seventh. Fucking 79 episodes? Seven. That's almost 10%. That's not a lot. That's almost 10%. The majority of it's IPAs. Is it? I bet you if you did the numbers, you'd, you'd be wrong. 
Well, we can go through my spreadsheet. Actually, you should bring that up because this is just be the first segment of the show. The first segment is we're gonna be updating the beer list. We're gonna get everything fact checking math. We're gonna get everything updated and categorized, alphabetized, numer num, numer numerized. You guys don't get to see it. I don't have scenes set up yet, so. But we're working Boo. on it. So we got the two dudes drinking beer. Beer list. Beer name. Eight oh five. That's a first episode. Yeah, number one. Uh, Eight oh five. And then white. Well, I can't edit to type it, so that's fucked. Unless we go through and copy paste each individual letter. If you want, I don't care. No. Right so we got Eight oh five. White Claw. And then we did <laughs> White Claw's itself. So that's a whole nother league. Yeah. And then you had Corona Familiar. Mm-hmm. And I had Miller Highlight. We did thirty twos that day. Mm-hmm. And then we did Paps, mm-hmm. Sam Adams, Modelo, Blue Moon, the Firestone Variety Pack with the Flyjack, Mind Haze, Union Jack, and Citra Hazy. Heineken? Question mark. I don't know why I put a question mark. Do we ever do Heineken? Oh, that was about spelling. Yeah. Oh, how to spell it. Yeah. And then we did Fruit Cart. And then we did Fat Tire. That was a good one. Fat Tire was good. Space Dust. Too strong. Space Dust is it's great, but you can only have about three before you want to vomit. Then we did Grolsch. Grolsch was really good, I remember. Natty Ice with DJ Phantom. As always. Classic. Mechalobe Ultra. Delirium Tremens. Good, good. Then we did Pacifico. Hoppy Poppy. Trippin. The Trippin. Belgian Ale. Okay. That's the that's the crazy thing. Is like We're getting into the territory where we've had so many different kinds of beers. I'm like, I don't remember that one at all. Yeah. Then we did Made West. That's Made West was good. I don't think you were drinking at that point. Because then oh, I, because maybe I wasn't. I know. I've, I know. I've had Midwest before. Because then we did the Mickey's, and that was just yeah, me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I might the not little, have been little grenades. Those were fucking disgusting. Mickey's is fucking. I gross. like Mickey's. That says a lot about you. Yeah, whatever. Sapporo. I with, had one two nights ago. Sapporo with Ralph. Yeah, yeah. The Stone IPA tall bottles. You know what we could do is we could do themed episodes. Go ahead. Sorry. What do you mean? Like uh. Of course, we're doing like Sapporo with Ralph. Like, what if we like mixed in some like kind of Asian cuisine or like talked about just anime or something with him? That'd be fun. His K dramas. When my brother's on the when my brother's on the podcast, he can talk about cars a lot. Oh so, yeah, I, so, I expect that. So like, we need to find like a gear, uh, like a a good like. I mean, obviously he gets. We'll to have pick hot wheels and we can. Yeah, but like we'll like play. We'll build a fucking yeah. track. And like, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Like we're kids. Kombucha. That was fucking good. That's the strawberry one, right? It was uh, kombucha, but with alcohol in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Wave, a good classic. Corona, Shock Top with Ab Saeed. Mm-hmm. We need to redo his podcast. We're so sorry. We're getting around to it, man. Yeah. We'll, we'll get your beautiful face on video one day. One day. The world well, the world wasn't ready. Yeah, it, that's exactly it. it is, we're, we were ahead of the time, bro. Angry we'll Orchard, back. and then we had Tecate with DeAndre. <laughs> Facts. Peroni, I put in parentheses, Gross. Peroni was good. Mm. Gross. Then Press. Press was really good Press for was, a seltzer. Press is top two seltzer. Press is a really good seltzer. Modelo, sponsor. Yeah. Corona Premier, sponsor. Mm-hmm. Those are, These were the fake sponsors. Yeah, I remember. That was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all ideas that my dad proposes are good ones. Well, you know, the follow through was like, it was there. Yeah. But uh, the those Kieran. fake sponsors led to a real, <laughs> real sponsor, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can say that. That's like a low, cheap grab. It's a low bar for sure, but yeah. you know the Kieran H Bond sponsored we're not, by. We're not trying to um, sponsored by Long Juan, a Mexican Asian who Ma- says Sugoi Ma- Modelo again as a request. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one was the fake sponsor. This one was the real with the guest mm-hmm. Space Dust sponsor. <laughs> Michelob Who sponsored Space Dust? I believe it was extra left over here. So You're right. It was, it was, yeah. We gotta start writing down who, who sponsors it. <clears throat> uh Michelob Ultra Gold, the mm. the lower calorie one. Mm-hmm. That one I, I remember not liking. Chase's show. Sam Adams. That was just us. Sam Adams is great. Classic. FMB one oh one. Soul. Paps again. Sour Monkey. Delicious. Mm-hmm. 805 Cerveza with lime. Terrible. Bad. Yeah, bad. Not good. Kirkland Seltzer. Good. Pretty good. Pretty average. Top three. Yeah, probably third. Kona Island Seltzer. Garbage unless you have gummy worms. That's what it was. It was those seltzers, bro. 
uh, the the Bud Light seltzers were the worst thing we've ever had. I, I took a sip and I was like, nope, nope, uh, not happening. I liked them. The Bud Light seltzers was the worst thing I've ever had on this show. Regular Bud Light seltzer, sure. I'm not a fan. <laughs> the Bud Light that Platinum seltzer? Platinums, they were they were a lot better. They refined it. I thought they were worse in the Platinums. Oh, okay. That's the annoying thing. Is like I'd rather have a Bud Light seltzer because those, those were like chalky and gross. Mm-hmm. But the Platinums were just 10 times chalkier and grosser. And the smell, it, was, it smelled sour and like almost old. It was gross. And then we did Coors Banquet. Banquet's great. And then we did Bud Light. Then mm. we did the rec- the Blue Fosters. Natty mm. Ice again for episode 50 with... The boys. With Ryan and Raul. Ginger Ale. That, that ginger ale was gross. The but. ginger ale was pretty bad, too. Well, that was just uh, because for Emilio's episode. We didn't want to drink yeah. beer. Oh, what's up, Lecte Fox? How are you, how's it going? We're just right hey, now. Hey, he's back. What's up, man? Right now, we're recounting all the beers we've had just because we're drinking a Pilsner today. And I said. And he didn't realize we had already drank seven Pilsners. And I say we drink them all the time. And he's saying <clears throat> seven out of 10 Pilsner. Okay, so what was this? What was the stat? We, we, this is 70 episodes, right? Yeah. And seventy and seven of those were Pilsners. I said that's 10%. And if you, if you went through and redid it, not uh, a lot. You'd find out that it's probably the majority of the beers we drank. Because that, that seems like a lot of beers. If you were to classify all of them, which I'll go back which through. Which we should. I want I'll to. go back through and do just yeah. for you, and we can go over it on Monday again. We get like a pie chart and everything, get it or all figured out. Wednesday. I'll go through it on Wednesday with you. So we did ginger ale with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> we did ginger ale with the kid. Sounds like we snorted cocaine <laughs> off his ass. Uh, we've been we've only been doing live streams for two episodes. So this is the second time that we've done it as a duo. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we've been doing this show since last May. Yeah, so we've been doing the show for about a year, and then we just kind of wanted to keep growing and expanding. And then we figured, fuck it, let's do some live shows and just see where it goes. And obviously, we got you, and that's a plus. And you know, it's it's the same <laughs> show; need, it's baby. just live. You know, so. We figured it's not going to hurt any anybody so to a different element. Daily. Yeah, it's it's fun. I, I like the engagement because like having you in the chat is like super chill. I was saying if you're old enough, obviously grab a beer, drink, and hang out with us. That's kind of the whole shtick, you know. We just want to kind of kick it and drink during the coronavirus pandemic and have a good time. Be a bro and hang out. Yeah, let's chill. So after ginger ale, we did Stone Delicious. That's a good one. Stone Delicious was good. Point three nine four, the batting beer. That was a good one. That was a good one too. And then we did Modelo again. <laughs> and that's the thing, Modelo, bro. You gotta remember, we've, that's only like what three or four times it's on the list, and that's a Pilsner. Yeah, I only count it once because that's. But you have to count it for the seventy episodes. Mm. That's what I'm saying. We've done more than seventy episodes. <clears throat> still, so it's probably, but that's that's only proving that it's still probably only more than ten percent. I'll get super specific, and that's just that's just they total wine just threw it on the search list. Mm-hmm. I'll figure out what kind of beer it you're is. Gonna, you're gonna be like really anal, be like it's not technically because anything before the 1800 AD. Well, if it doesn't say it on the can or made on the know. fucking just uh fucking brewery, then fair enough. Fair enough. I'll give you it's that. Just, if, it's if, just being thrown in a search. I'll give you that if the company doesn't specify it as that. I know it's a cerveza. Which is <laughs> that's a beer. That just means beer, but it's That's super broad. It's different. Not really. Yes. No, this is a beer. Yeah. But it's like, an umbrella term, bro. We you, just you can have a beer and you can have a cerveza and they're going to taste different. No. I mean, are Corona you say- doesn't taste like Is it, Bud are you Light. saying it's a Mexican beer? Is that the thing? Like it yeah, has to be That's the differentiation. All right, but like you can't just say it's like what if it's a Pilsner Cerveza? You can't be like, oh, no, it's not. Pilsner de Cerveza. <laughs> Pilsner de Cerveza. So we had Modelo again, and then we had the fancy Iceland, Icelandic Einstock beer. I don't remember that one, really. The blue, white and blue. Yeah, that one. Yeah. The it's, jam. It's behind. No? Oh. It's behind the Wanderland. Okay. The white and blue, the Viking. Most of, them are, most of these beers have been pretty good. Yeah. It's, we only pick good shit. It's really like, there's like two or three bad ones. And mm-hmm. this one's just, maybe this one's, maybe that's the thing. Maybe my palate's just becoming a little too, like, snobbish to where I'm just like, eh, it's not special. <clears throat> I like it. It's not. And I usually drink it's more not craft bad, beer it's than It's just you. not great. It's like, I don't like it. It's boring. That's what I'm saying. It's like flat. It's like no pizzazz. 
I mean, I usually drink more craft beer than you. I mean, when you when you drink craft beer, you go to the bar and you get like an IPA and you'd be like, oh, it's two for one. So it's. Yeah. And you're drinking Bud Light. <clears throat> you didn't drink it for. <clears throat> fuck. You didn't drink it because you like craft beer, though. You, you drink it because you wanted to save money and get drunk faster. A little bit of both. A little column A, a little column B. And then we did Tall Can Roulette, which was a lot of fun. Everyone loved that, by the way. It was a great idea. Perfect. And then we did Champagne because you were celebrating. And then we did the Nordic Jam, which tasted like fruit leather, which was beautiful. Yeah, we, fruit by the fart. Fruit, fruit, fruit by the fart. <laughs> then the Trojan Horse, the wine. That was pretty good. And then when you were out of town, the Balboa Blonde with Raul. White Rascal, Bat Squatch, delicious. Mm. I love the stat distribution on the can. This is one of the, one of the coolest can designs I've seen for sure. Bat Squatch. We had the vanilla Cali creaming and Latitude 33. So good. The Cali creaming is like, <clears throat> if beer. you want to get someone started on drinking, bro, Cali creaming is the way to go because it's like drinking a fucking cream soda just in a, uh, can. In a can. Well, I guess they sell cream soda in a can. Yeah, yeah, but it's With like alcohol. But yeah, it's alcohol. And and there's a lot of like, not, not your father's root beer. And there's a bunch of like soda brands like uh, Henry's Hard Soda and mm-hmm. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Fuck all those other ones, bro. If you got Cali Creamin, that's the way to go. Because it tastes like a goddamn cream soda, and it's got alcohol in it. It's way better than anything you've ever had amongst that like soda lineup. Yeah. I don't remember Latitude 33 too much, but I know it was good. Mm-hmm. And then we had like the post-Christmas Lump of Coal and the Green Fosters, which mm-hmm. I remember not liking Green Fosters, but mm-hmm. I liked the Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal was the best stout I've ever had. It's a it's a good stout for being a gimmick. I don't, I don't like stouts, but I... I could probably drink the lump of coal mm-hmm. if you had a gun to my head. We did <laughs> Fire Skulls and Money. That one was good. I didn't remember how to write it, and I didn't want to look at the bottle, so I just wrote Super German Beer, but it's the Weiss. The Uber German Beer, yeah. The Weiss Steffenheimer. Yeah, that one's, and that one's like the beeriest beer. <laughs> yeah, that's just beer. I've ever had. Like, when you when you think of beer, that is the flavor, that is the, the like, absolute imp- epitome the epitome of beer. The epitome. So, flex tape. I got this Snoop Dogg figurine. I actually have another one. He's laying down on the ground. Chilling. Uh, I got it a, a long time ago, like over 15 years ago on thinkgeek.com because my brother wanted me to order it for him because I had some gift cards, like Visa gift cards. He was like, order this for me. And okay. And I ordered two on accident. So that's how I, I have two Snoop Dogg action figures. How do you fuck that up? I was a kid. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. How old are you when you ordered that shit? Like 15 years ago. I was like 10. How long has Snoop Dogg been around? 40 years. You know, my dad went to the same school as him. When my dad was was a senior in high school, Snoop Dogg was a freshman. Is he in the yearbook? Uh, I don't know if he has it. That's a great question. I should fucking ask him. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be... Oh, dude, could you imagine if... Oh, my God. I never thought of that. I mean, assuming you know Snoop Dogg's real name. Because it's not going to say Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, we can look it up, though. Like, whatever. Do you know? Are you a fake fan? What's Snoop Dogg's name? Uh, Aubrey Graham. That's Drake. <laughs> I know. Uh, I don't know Snoop Dogg's real name. Does Flex Tape Fox know it? Does Flex Tape Fox know? Hmm. Ryan, Ryan should know. Ryan would fucking know. What the fuck? Calvin Cordet, uh Cortazar, Cortazar Brodes Jr. His name was fucking Calvin. I would change my name to Snoop Dogg for real if yeah. my name was fucking Calvin. Pull an Ultra Cinco, dog. Calvin and Hobbs. Instruments, vocals. He's been married since 97. Good for him. No fucking way. Who's his wife? Shantae Brodus. P- pull up a picture. Okay. She looks like a businesswoman. Yeah, she. I was going to say, she looks like... She's not like a hot woman, but she's like, you know... The business. Yeah. She you, knows what's up. Yeah, Snoop Dogg made the right choice marrying her. That's a that's a sturdy decision. She's not a hoe. Mm-mm. No, he he found a housewife. Yeah. No, you're right. I wouldn't even say she's like like <clears throat> she's probably like not like powerful, but like fucking she has business presence, like very uh, professional. Yeah, that's the professional word yeah. aura. Yeah. Yeah, man, Snoop Dogg nailed that one, man. Good for him. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that he's like, I don't love these hoes. And he found like a wife, you know, like he has four kids. No fucking way. Yeah. 
I mean, when you think of Snoop Dogg, you just think of Snoop Dogg, nothing else. I always think, when I think of Snoop Dogg, I think of, we don't love them hoes. Or, I just walk up in this motherfucker just swinging my hair. Those are the two lines by Snoop Dogg that, like, that just stuck with me for whatever reason. Suge Knight and Easy E are trending. Right now? Yeah. Well, I think there's a new documentary coming out um, about um, Biggie from... Uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy's doing a, um, a documentary with him from his perspective. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they start trending because they got that in the works. <clears throat> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, the first thing that comes up besides this Wikipedia article is something from March 2nd last year about a $107 million judgment against him for running over and killing Mm -hmm. Terry Carter. Yeah. Over a parking spot. That was in the Compton, uh, straight out of the Compton movie. So then we did platinum seltzer. (laughs) We're just fucking jumping (laughs) back and forth. Cali cream and orange, the orange sickle. Also really good. Sponsored by Alexis and Oscar. Shout out to Alexis of guinea pigs. Then we did pseudo Sue. That was a good one with the dinosaur on it. Mm -hmm. You have good eyesight. That's blurred. It's fucked to me. Then we did Dead Guy, the Rogue oh, Beer. Enough. The Rogue Beer. I mean, I can't read it now because I can't oh, fucking fuck see. Oh, fuck no, dude. Dumbass. That's not how glasses work. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, then we did Dog Ate My Homework, Philosophy and Velocity. I Trash. X'd that out to remember to never do it again. You know what you could do? You got to put just a line through it. And the reason for that is Strike because it. Mm-hmm, when they when philosophers would write books in, in, in Greco-Roman times, they would write a book, and if they wanted to change it, they, would, they wouldn't They would erase the words. They would just cross it out and still publish the book with all the ideas crossed out to be like, look, I thought of this, but I decided not to put it. That's why they That's why they call it striking it from the record. That's yeah. what they still do. Mm-hmm. Then we did the Wanderland. Wanderland. What's that? Bing Bong 77 with the bruh emotes. Bruh. Come on, bruh. Bruh. Bruh's not feeling it, bruh. I don't, I don't think we said anything sus. No, I don't know. We say some gay shit. This list, this list isn't updated. It's Stella <laughs> Artois and Space Danger. And then, if you can remember what we did after Space Danger. It's not like I can edit it right now. No, I was just, I don't remember shit. Yeah. But. Bing Bong, what's up? Who are, who, who you is? I feel like, I feel like Bing Bong just so, threw that face in there. Cause he's like, look at this motherfucker. Is this he's got the potato Raul? face. Does Raul have a Twitch account? He was talking to me about it last night. He wanted to come into our stream. Raul wouldn't, be, sm- Raul wouldn't be smart enough to figure out how to use the fucking face emojis like that. How to figure this shit yeah, out. Yeah, Raul would just be like, Korean porn's lit or something <laughs> weird. And we'd be like, yeah, like we agree with that. Are you Raul? <laughs> uh, maybe. Who knows? This guy's just calling us potato faces. Well, usually in, twi- in the Twitch community, when people do the come on, bruds, uh, when... Gay shit. Either something super sus or su- uh, something like racist. Oh, I don't know. I guess. Moving on. So yeah, not, not in the last ten seconds. What's something that you'd want in your next home? <sighs> A family. <laughs> <laughs> something realistic. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, did you Pardon. actually? Did you actually just see? I got the pool table up in my house. Yeah, I, I set it up last night. Uh, so I already got the pool table check and a ping, pinball machine and a pinball machine. They're going to be down there for hours. I'm going to be down there always like a fucking loser. It's going to be lit. Um, I mean, I, ah, oh, shit. You know, I'd, I'd flex want to tape Fox is high right now. I'd want a man cave. Hi, flex tape Fox. How you doing? I don't know. Bing bong's not real. You, you've that still been here. Been old. Uh, uh, a fucking like man cave or something like a you know. Well, it's, it's what's one thing you want in your next house? Is is a man cave not one thing? It's got to be one. That's it, an idea. Does it have to be an object? Yes. Fuck. One tangible. I mean, a thing. family's an idea, but I can grab a booby, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> that's that's a tangible thing. I want one booby. <laughs> I want one booby. Just one, not for a the pair. Living room. Just one. That's <clears throat> pairs too. Damn. One thing on the spot. I can tell you what I want. What? I want a urinal. My next home. <laughs> Why? It if you do if you do that you have to put it in a weird place. It's gonna be like just in the living room, <laughs> just you know in the hallway. Ju- yeah, just so 
Whenever it'll have stalled oars. Whenever you need to, you can just fucking. Then I'd rather just run a tube from my penis to the toilet at all times. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but your penis is a tube from your penis to the toilet. So attach a hose from my penis and have it run all the way to like it's clamped onto the toilet seat. Just fucking and just piss from the living room. Just fucking. Uh, that'd be well, crazy if we just have fucking something latched up to our jo- junk right now. It just fills up a fucking like. Realistically, piss bin. that's what catheters are, but it's not going into a bag attached to us. And most of the time, it would just be sitting in the tube because there wouldn't be enough force to get it into the toilet. So you'd just be dragging a whole bunch of piss around. Knowing me, I'd probably fucking somehow like have some like trip over it and spill it everywhere. I'd somehow I'd have some like superhuman moment where it just like all the air goes back up to my pee hole and like <laughs> it swallows all the piss again and it like comes out my nose or something gross. <laughs> so I'd have a urinal because <laughs> what the fuck? Can I get another one? Of course, it's not a race. It's a race, like Rat Race. Have you seen Rat Race? That's a good movie. No, I haven't. Anyway, it's guy funny. who just joined the chat, hang grab on. a beer, hang out with us. Or if you smoke, or if you don't smoke, or do maybe, whatever you want. Maybe just, you just like jerking off. Jerk off. That's cool. We have people who jerk off to us already. We're we're super open and diverse. Just listen, ask questions if you want. Yeah, just hang out. Uh, urinal, because why? <laughs> They're super convenient and save water. You know, I, I that just, brings up a good point. Maybe, maybe I just want solar panels, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, also just like, I feel bad in the middle of the night. It's like three in the morning. I'll take a piss and just mm-hmm. I'll flush the toilet. And <laughs> yeah. I, I know like my roommates can't hear it or it's yeah. like the neighbors can't hear it, but still, I just, I feel you always guilty. have that, that, that guilty, like voice in your head. Like, yeah. Flushing the toilet at night. Same with me. Yeah. Shit. Maybe I just want solar panels. I don't know. You know what? Lower your electricity oh. bill. You know what? You know what I think I want? I just want a nice grill. A Traeger? Not a Traeger. Yeah, those use pellets. Those are whack. I just want a nice grill. Or a fire pit. You know, like... I have one in my trunk if you want it. <clears throat> I already have a fire pit, though. I need to bring your next but like, home. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, one this of those all, nice stone is, ones. This is that's all like, next home. Yeah. Built one of the, in? Yeah, one of those nice stone ones with, like, a, a, a seating area. like Built in? Yeah. Like a grill and a bonfire pit. Like I'm, I'm simple, bro. I mm-hmm. like, I like environment. I like to chill, and obviously it's like bonfires and barbecues for me, bro, is enough. So like, if I had that, then shit, come, I, come through to the spot. My dad and I built a fire pit in our second home. Really? Yeah. Was it like in the ground kind of thing, or? It was above ground. It was like brick, and then like he ran the gas line out and. Like he built a fire pit from scratch. Can I can I spill some hot goss? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I was working for this company, and it was doing um, construction. And basically, what happened was we built this um, city on rock and roll. Like, <laughs> yeah, we built this garage, and uh, we had to get like blueprints from the city, and it was like super specific, and. Uh, Basically, we didn't look at the blueprints from the city that they gave us before building this place, Mm -hmm. this extra room, and it was over a gas line, Nice, and that's super bad. You're not allowed to build any uh, structure over gas lines, because in in California, if there's an earthquake, that gas line ruptures underground. Yeah, everything's fucked. Everything's fucked. Um, So anyway, long story short, we built this place. Uh, The inspector came through, and he was like, what's that? Like, the inspector had no fucking clue what the line was for. And there's two of them. Water? There was a there was a backyard, like kind of like a stone, a really nice backyard with like a, a grill and a refrigerator next to a pool. Mm-hmm. And the supervisor was like, it's for the refrigerator. Nice. It's power to the refrigerator. And, in, a, and in, a, in a pipe. And the inspector goes, cool. Well, because it's a wire through a pipe, how they do it. But like the to inspector, the, wire. The, the inspector apparently didn't have a code for like whatever kind of tube it was or whatever kind of rod was going under the underground. So they just fucking checked it off and cleared it. And they're like, cool. And that's how we built an illegal room above a uh, gas line. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, I wasn't there. This is a story from a friend that I heard from a friend. Hearsay. Yeah. It's, it's all bullshit, but. Admissible in court. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's the. <laughs> I don't have to worry about getting canceled. I have to worry about saying too much information. Yeah. <laughs> on the podcast because it's like we need a story, especially now it's live. <laughs> yeah, we need a story. What's that one illegal thing you did? Tell that story. Okay. 
Tell them how you robbed that bank. Yeah, dude. Allegedly. How would you do it? Allegedly, it would not be on a moped or a scooter. <laughs> you fucking dipshit. Shout out to that one guy everyone knows from high school. <sighs> Everyone's got that one guy from high school that's known for that one crime. You know what's crazy? You know what I was thinking about a few days ago? Actually, like, last night. I was like, you know what? It's kind of a miracle anyone makes it to 30. Because, like, suicide just seems... It's badass. <laughs> suicide just always seems like the move, right? <laughs> like, Yeah, but, I mean, there's so many reasons to not kill yourself. Because... I would never kill myself. I'm obviously not advocating anyone to kill themselves. I'm just saying. It's one of those things where, like, it's life's hard, bro. So I can I can understand I can sympathize with somebody who yeah. wants to We've all harm there. themselves. Yeah, I've I've definitely been there, and we have partaken in self harm. For yeah, science for, for science, but it's one of those things. It's like it's amazing that like you just have to endure. Things only get better. Yeah, well they have to, right? You're sure you you can think you're at the lowest point in your life, but. If you're already at the bottom, there's nowhere else to go but up. <laughs> That's um, one of my favorite things. When I first moved into this house, what's, what's happening? You're here. Oh, okay. That's gay. That's what I'm fuck. helping you. Drop the sus faces. Thank you. Um, let me get some sus faces in the chat. It's not sus face. It's come on, bro. Let me get some come on. Let me get some come on, bro face. Just stop coming on me, bro. You can't do it. It's fake. <clears throat> what are they saying? Are they saying stuff? No. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna give it for you. Oh, there you go. Um, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <clears throat> um, well, I'm fucking derailed. Thanks. So I said, there's nowhere else to go but up. Raul, when I first moved in this house, was like, "Damn, bro, I'm proud of you." What's the saying? You can't fall from the floor. <laughs> and I was like, "Thanks, man." And like, I know he was trying to be sweet and like genuine. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I was like, you're basically saying, like, bro, you look like you're on rock bottom. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I was like, awesome. Thanks, man, I guess. That's sweet. Well, you went from basically homeless to I living in a house, so. Yeah. No, for sure. There's, that no, is... there's nowhere to go it up. So you flex like Fox knows what's up. Bro, bro, flex tape. Bro face. FTF. So, yeah. I mean, you may think you're at the lowest point in your life, but. It always has an uptick. It gets better. Always. Everything always gets better. Whether it be, you know, over a woman. Time heals all wounds. This too shall pass away. Yeah. Everything dies. Even your sadness. <laughs> because you could just replace it with something else. Mm-hmm. Like money or drugs or drinking. I'm just kidding. Be safe. Be smart. But Don't use substances to fake it. Use it to have fun. But don't use it to fake it. They're tools. Yes. These these are not the party. These are the party favors. Yes, Flex Tape. This is our TED Talk. Welcome to how to not be depressed and <laughs> to not kill yourself because don't. Well, here's the thing. I always feel so weird because like, since we're doing it live, I like I want to tell like these super crude jokes. <clears throat> Do it. Who fucking but, cares? But as I'm, long as you don't say the N word or the F word, the F-A-G word. Which is so crazy that... That gets blurred out. That's the two but things. Hear, fuck, uh. fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, but I can't say the other one. Want. Nope. <laughs> um, but like, part of me is like, in the back of my head, it's like I'll say like a crude joke, like suicide's funny, and then I'll be like, oh, but like I probably probably shouldn't say that because I don't know who's watching live, and like, I want to, I don't want to, I don't mean to make it into a TED talk, but that, it's like that's why I'm I want to say like, no, don't kill yourself. You're yeah. worth it. Yeah, it's like we want to have like an adult in the room sometimes and be like, you know what, this is all just. That's my job. Jokes and it's it's meant to be lighthearted, like two dudes hanging out, drinking beer, and just having fun. But were those dads in the cul-de-sac who mm-hmm. sit in the middle of the cul-de-sac or on their driveways? We're we're king of the hill minus two characters. <laughs> we're looking for yeah. I'm Hank. I call it. Okay, I'm uh, I'm Boomhauer. <laughs> You're Dale. <laughs> You're fucking Dale, bro. You're Pocket Sand Dale. I'm Bobby, bro. Everyone always says I look like Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Dad? <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. He's also like a super conspiracy <laughs> yeah. theorist guy. Like, I'm so into conspiracy theories. Yeah, you're Dale. I'm for sure Dale. Pocket sand. Why do they call him pocket sand? Because literally. Oh, he throws sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pocket. And he throws it in someone's face. 
<laughs> it's just it's Pakistan. It's not a smoke bomb or anything. It's yeah. just like fucking Pakistan. That's how you get out of a situation. Someone's confronting you. You hit him with the pocket sand and run away. <laughs> Always keep that motherfucker on me. Always have something in your back pocket. <laughs> See? I'm full of callbacks. Damn. Oh, my God. That's good. So you'd have, like, a nice grill in your in your house? <laughs> I'm really good at bringing it back. What can I say? You said that. My ear started ringing, like, of <laughs> anger. I was like, how do you remember that shit? Stress. That's what being a showrunner is. Um... Yeah, dude. Uh, no, like, it's like I'm, a nice grill fire pit combo. Yeah, I don't want like a you know like one of those nice stone ones that's like built into the house kind of thing. Not even built into the house. Like I can get it built or whatever. But like Daniel could do it for you. Daniel could. and I could do it for you. Even though I was like six when he did it. Just don't lie about the gas lines and shit. Shit. <laughs> do you think what everything he does is up to code? <laughs> that's my problem. I want. It is <laughs> for all the government watching. <laughs> It'll be up to code. But when my house blows up and they investigate, they're gonna be like, "It's your hmm. fault. It's your fault." Yeah. User error. <laughs> so, could you imagine if you could like be a contractor and be like, "Yo, sign this piece of paper. I definitely broke the lot building this, but like, I need you to accept responsibility if it goes wrong." Yes, there is no. That's liability. what contract. You can do contracts like that. Like, there's there's no. You know what's crazy is like there's no limit to what you can put in a contract. Especially if they don't read it. Uh, yeah, as long as someone signs a contract, it's legally binding. You could be like, "You're my fucking sex slave." From this 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 age to this age, Jimmy says a pizza oven. Yeah, pizza oven would be cool, especially working at like a pizza place and using yeah, a pizza dude. oven. We fucking both worked at a pizza place at, some, at the same time, and like, yo, pizza ovens are badass. Jimmy, wood fire oven, like <sighs> wood or gas, because like one's way more expensive and way more maintenance. But the gas is more expensive, obviously. But if like if this is the one thing you want in your house. Then there's then go ahead and binge, you know, yeah. spend the extra money. I I mean I've only I've used both I guess mm -hmm. in a rec, in a, a restaurant setting in erectile dysfunction. Yes, in an ED setting <laughs> in, in a restaurant setting I've used both. Uh, I prefer gas; they're easier to use. Mm -hmm. Wood burns hotter. Wood is so much more cooler. Though. It is cooler. Gas is boring. And especially if you want, I keep hitting the fucking there's lever. Also, on there's also there's also the saying like people always say like with charcoal you get flavor, with wood you get a little more flavor. Because the essence of the wood. Because the essence of the wood. So yep. I'd probably go with wood just in that essence. Because I mean, like mm -hmm. I said, if you're gonna spend the money, spend the money. And yeah. and I have that um, um, approach now where it's like if you want a good product, spend more. Spend a little more money. It'll because one, it's gonna last you longer. Mm -hmm. and it's gonna be a better quality, and you won't have to go buy another one when the cheaper one breaks or goes bad. Yeah. So I would probably just go with the wood one. But yeah, pizza oven. Yeah, it'd be a That'd pizza be cool. oven grill, refrigerator combo, and then like a fire pit and a pool. Like mm. that's the thing. Like I just want like a nice vibe. So there's a follow up to this question as well. Ah, <sighs> okay. So money is not an option. What about your dream home? What's, oh. what's one thing you want in your dream home? Money is no option. Let me let me say this all have you ever driven down PCH? Yeah. Have you driven down PCH into Malibu? Uh, pr probably. At least once. The, you come around this co corner in PCH. Once you pass this gas station, there's this white house. It's the most modern thing. I remember I remember being like, I like that house. I was like fucking 12. And my dad was like, oh, you like modern, huh? And I was like, yeah. It's just a white house. It's like super square. And it goes into a shape of a Z. It goes like this. It goes up a little and then out over the ocean. That's the house I want to buy. Money's not an issue. Not house wise. What no, no, no. I just want to in your. I house. know. I just want to get this off my chest before. Okay, okay. Money's not an issue. I'm paying that person to, to move to get the fuck out of that house. Okay. That's a beautiful fucking house. I want that's, that house. That's want that the house I want. Okay. That's the house I want. You're gonna force them out. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for their mansion wherever they want in the world, and I'm gonna take their house. I'm just gonna. Money's not an issue. I'm doing it. Forceful takeover. No, hostile fucking hostile workplace. Yeah, hostile workplace takeover. Uh, one thing I want my house. Uh, I think I, think I know what you'd say. Bomb shelter. <laughs> That's not what I thought I you'd want, say. I want one of those. Have you ever seen those videos of people being like, oh, obviously pinball table, but like, hold up. Is, for me, it's gonna be like. Uh, not what I thought you'd say. Well, let's let's chill, 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 chill. chill. So chill. So 
have you ever seen those videos on TikTok where it's like people were like, what's the one thing in your house that like everyone thinks and blah, blah, blah. That no one else There's has. this girl who like lifts up a staircase and you go into like this bunker. I want a hidden area. I, one of my, I, old, that's the thing. I want a hidden area. That's the one thing I want. One of my old friends actually had a false <laughs> bookshelf and there was like a little, it was like their fucking pantry and you'd like just pull it and mm. then the whole, the whole pantry would swing open and, and there'd just be like a storage area behind it. Mm. And those, those are so fucking cool. Yeah. Have like a false something in the whole area behind it. It's that's, that's what I want. A whole nother area. Cause yeah, I want something hidden away. That's all I want. Like, cause cause if I choose to turn it into like a man cave or whatever, that's cool or whatever. But like at the end of the day, it's like how cool to be to like have like a panic room. That's like just casually incognito. I don't panic enough for that. I panic all the time. I know. I need two of those actually. I thought you would have said like a recording studio. I already have that. Like a fucking a nice one. Not just your, that bedroom. one, that one, that's that. Yeah. That's a matter of time though. Like that's the thing. Like I could, I could build that in any house. I can't build like a panic a, room into a state a, of the art room, and yes, you can. Not really. Yeah, you can. You know how easy it is to add a bedroom to a house. <laughs> yeah, I built one over a gas line. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> fucking easy. You just need wood and drywall. You know what you need? You need fucking city plans and a person who could lie their dick off. Not even that. You just use your backyard, expand. Yeah. You need city plans. It for is that. your property. Yeah. Well, you need approval. <sighs> Say you got it from John at the corporate office and they'll be like what <laughs> Look, oh we get new stuff <laughs> come everyone this way we get new stuff shout out to trailer park boys fucking hilarious show that started on a fucking what jvc camcorder <laughs> yeah same thing with sunny in philadelphia oh the first episode of sunny in philadelphia looks like ass it looks like terrible but it's but it's actually one of the funniest episodes yeah because it it's like you have to have the con if you don't have the quality, you fucking better have the content. Yeah. Which is why we invest in so many like high end cameras and audio because our just, content sucks. Because our content's just way below bar. But our content fucking sucks. But at the end of the day, it's like those guys really knew what they were fucking doing. Yeah. And then they have like fucking thirteen seasons. Yeah, and they just fucking been doing that forever now. It's great. Good for them. Yeah. Uh you got no you got another question for me? How many pounds of gas do you think you've farted over the course of your life? How do you, how do you, I could say cubic meters, but not like. Cubic pounds of gas. How do you, you can't weigh gas. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Yes. Look it, it up. Google that shit. You can't weigh gas. Yeah, you can. You can put it in a liquid Where state and weigh it. Where the fuck do you come up with these questions? <laughs> you can put it in a liquid state. You, it's called pooping. <laughs> Although gas is very light, it still has mass. How many pounds? Yeah. All right, well, then just Google, how much does the average fart weigh? <laughs> Asking the hard-hitting questions on 2D drinking beer. Stick around for more. How much does the average fart weigh? <laughs> average, that was cart. Fart. I love how that, that's, like, already been looked up, though. 0. 0.0375 grams. What's 0. 0.0375 grams to pounds? We're 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 um we're not on the metric system. I'm looking that up for you. We're on the Liberty said Liberty system. What's the name of the first system? Imperial. Imperial. Shout out to uh, Denzel Curry. Imperial, one of the greatest underground albums uh, of eight pounds. No fucking way. A Zero. fart weighs eight pounds. <laughs> A fart weighs fucking eight pounds? <laughs> this says. I don't know what to Your tell you. Your math is wrong. 0. 0.0375 grams is 8.2 pounds of mass. There's no fucking way. That's what this says. I don't know. Google. Is that when you, when you take a shit, you're just like, I lost 10 pounds. It's like, you're really losing like 32 though. Like just off gas alone. I fart a lot when I poop. <laughs> Good for you. One gram. One gram. <laughs> Zero point zero three seven five. Convert. That can't be right. So it's point zero 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 one pounds. Google is fucking drunk today, I guess. <laughs> Google's drunk as fuck. One gram is zero point zero zero two two pounds. <clears throat> okay, so I probably farted like three or four pounds 
total in your whole life? Turtle? Or 26 <laughs> years, you've only farted three pounds? Google on another tab, because I need these numbers as a reference. How many, how many farts per year on average does someone fart? How many times per year does someone on fart on average? Oh my god! 110. Oh my god! Average farts a year. Why does Google know this? Because people. I shouldn't be surprised. Google knows fucking everything. Because the people have searched it. Everything. There's 5,000, 5 million results for this. And one in bold on the front page. Because that's the peop- answer people are looking for. So divide that by 0. .0001 and we'll just find the average of the world. In pounds. This will convert it to pounds. Three zeros? Yeah. <clears throat> no, that's not right. Maybe multiply? It's because the numbers were mixed. Mm. Oh, you did it. Inverse. Yeah. Point zero 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 two. Of a pound? Uh, yeah. So, nowhere near a pound. The average person doesn't even fart. In well, the that's a year. <clears throat> oh, times that by 26. Fuck. You did, you did it backwards it again. Reverse again. 51.10.2 times 26. So Still not even close. Not even close nothing. to a pound. Not even close Let's to see. a pound. Flex State Fox. Sounds like you guys have a fart fetish. No, but other people who watch this show do. Like I said, people jerk off to us. <laughs> Jimmy says, one fart equals a medium-sized newborn. <laughs> Accor- <laughs> according-, <laughs> according to Google, yes. Hot take. Yeah. That's oh, <laughs> according to extra, extra conversion dot com. <laughs> a healthy, no. a healthy newborn too. Yeah, not just a baby. Fucking, a fucking healthy, perfect baby. If if you're farting, you gave out, birth to a fucking fart queen. Congratulations. If you're farting out eight pounds at a time, you must feel fucking great after. Jesus Christ. There's no way because when you think about it. That'd be a 26 year long. Fart. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You gotta you gotta remember if gas is lighter than air. Depends and, on the gas. And no, it's like a fart gas. It so what is that fucking it's the same gas Pluto's made of? That's all I know. <sighs> Ethanol. That's not a gas. That's a liquid. Oh, liquid farts. Liquid, liquid, liquid gas. You can't have liquid Ethanol gas. Ethanol is fucking gas. gasoline. Okay, just look up what. It's an alcohol chemical compound. Yeah, my bad. It's a sulfuric the... gas. Fart gas. We were talking a lot about farts. It makes it sound like we have a fart fetish. It does, huh? We're just... Curious about statistics and numbers. This is how the show goes. It's derailed. It's not scripted. We just kind of fucking explore. It's okay. My next point has nothing to do about farts. It's okay. <clears throat> we just got to... We got to get through the rough parts. Yeah. <laughs> you guys get to bear with us. Tiny amounts of hydrogen, carbon dioxide, methane. It's methane uh, is the main part. Methane gas. Combined with hydrogen. Methane is the same thing that Pluto and a lot of the gaseous planets are made of in the in the solar system. <laughs> anyway, you got to think if they're floating, they might be dense, but they're f- they are they do happen to be lighter than air. There you go. So if you have eight pounds of gas in you, and it happens to be lighter than air, then really you'd fart and you'd actually gain eight pounds because eight pounds of gas lifting you has now left ex- been expelled from your body. It'd still be minimal. I'm like, not saying it'd be a lot. I'm just saying like you wouldn't feel the difference. No, I'm not saying you would, but like, it makes sense when someone goes, "Oh, I finished taking a ten pound shit or whatever." I oh, like, I feel like I lost ten pounds and they just took like a massive dump. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. that kind of makes sense. But if it's if it's lighter than you and it's in your body, shouldn't it be like kind of taken away from your weight because it's just gravitational pull? Eight pounds of gas, bro, you'd fly, you'd float for sure, for sure, you'd float. It would lift you off the ground. But that's the thing, like, if you if you really calculated it, eight pounds of helium. You'd fucking fly away, bro. How many balloons is that? Well, that's the, that's the thing. You gotta you gotta look up all those numbers. This is the boring. This is the boring math section of the show. We're getting to the next point. Don't right. worry. Helium balloons calculator. <clears throat> Holy shit! Eight pounds of helium. Eight lbs. Eight pounds is three hundred and four balloons. 
That's not I, a lot. I actually. love how this is a calculator. That's so fast, actually. A standard 11 inch balloon. <laughs> so a balloon that is a foot long, filled with helium, is 3,400 liters of gas and 304 balloons. That's not as much as I thought, actually. That's a lot of fucking balloons. You but, could fill this room with that. Sure, but um, full two ceiling. Like, did you see the David Blaine thing where he like took off in the balloons and all that? Those shit? are bigger than a foot low. Sure, but that's what I'm saying. Is like, I, I I just made the exclamation like, oh, you could take off with eight pounds. I think balloons helium, but... filled with this room could lift you off the ground too. Really? Yeah. All right. Just turn everything into a up fucking. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking balloons. 300 balloons? That kind of is. That's a lot. Damn. Next point, because... You want to talk about esports? You want, you well, I, the only thing I got to say is Suicide Squad. You want to talk about Suicide Squad real quick? I watched Suicide Squad last night for the first time. Do you guys want us to talk about esports first or Suicide Squad first? Pick one. Flex Tape Fox or Jimmy's. I'll let you guys <clears throat> Y'all moving the needle right now, not us. We're going to sit in silence before you guys pick. Here we go. How you doing today? We got you. Doing oh, very good. This is why I like that we don't have like any producers or anyone telling us what to do. We just, we just sit here for two hours and not say anything. Yeah, the director is not holding any cue cards. Yeah, fuck him. He's just sitting there with his tongue out. The audience, <laughs> the audience is the director. Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad first. Suicide Squad first. Sweet. So the animated one or the live action one? Okay, first of all, the animated one. Suicide Squad held the pay. If you have HBO Go, Max. If it, thank you. If you have HBO Max. Go check it out. If you don't, you can buy it on YouTube. For, you can rent it on YouTube for like three bucks. Suicide Squad that's held to pay. Fucking expensive for a rent. If you guys, if you guys go rent Suicide Squad held to pay, and send me a Venmo request and a receipt, I'll, I'll pay for you guys to watch Suicide Squad held to pay. What's your Venmo? Okay, uh, my phone's over there. I'm gonna go get my phone. You don't know it off the top of your head? It's probably just Alec Barton. <laughs> You're not LA. <laughs> it's a three one zero thing. I'll get it if you guys want to do that. That offer stands. It's like he'll pay you to rent. He'll pay you to watch it. I'll, I'll, I'll be real with you guys. I'll, I'll pay you to watch it. I love DC movies, and I'm trying to get people on the on the DC train because nobody likes DC. I'm gonna talk about DC for a little bit, and then we'll talk about some esports for a lot of it. Because you don't know when to shut the fuck up. Facts. All you do is just fucking talk. Phone is acquired. He's coming back. Oh no, he can hear me. I can hear you anyway. <laughs> We're in a fucking room, bro. <laughs> All right. A compound. Uh, let okay. me get my Venmo so up for you guys. what's your Venmo? <clears throat> you going to put it in the chat? Yes. I wrote Venom. Hold on. Venom. Okay. Okay. At <laughs> Alec Barton. No spaces. <laughs> Capital A, capital B. <laughs> You're so cool. If you guys send me a screenshot, just like an email saying that you you bought it on you on on YouTube, it's like three bucks. I'll send you a Venmo. I'll cover the charge. Uh, I love DC movies and Suicide Squad. Hell to pay. I didn't think I'd like it. It's actually a really fucking good movie. It's got a really good twist at the end. Fucking good movie. Uh, anyway. So, are you talking about the live action one or the? That's the animated for this one. Point. I'm talking about the the uh, shitty live action. One the, the live action that one. everyone hated. Say that again. I was wondering if oh, for yeah. this point, were you talking about the live action or the? <laughs> but you said the shitty live and, action one. Yeah, uh, I mean, I haven't seen it, but nobody liked it. That's my point. Uh, I saw it, and it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. Um, everyone hated the Joker in it. Everyone hated the Jared Leto take on the Joker. I watched it, man. It wasn't bad. Jared Leto, he played a good Joker. There was a little bit of, like, corniness in it. But at the end of the day, the movie's not at all about the Joker. No. And I was surprised. I was like, huh. Why does everyone hate the Joker's role in this movie? It's so minimal. I'm going to pee. Entertain it, the people. You know how there's like a... Okay, so... <clears throat> Tell your points. Film theory and music theory basically fall in line of one thing. In TV, there's an A story and a B story happening in one time, right? So if you have 
a story, let's just say you're watching some Rick and Morty. There's usually the side where, um, you know, Jerry Smith and Beth Smith go off to fucking Cold Stone Creamery, and then Rick, Summer, and Morty all go on a fucking adventure. That's A, and that's B. Those are two stories coinciding in one show. If they decide to merge, whatever, but... They usually come together at some point and they're happening at the same time because basically you need to pad run time. It's, it's a short story and it just keeps the kind of story kind of interesting. Uh, Suicide Squad's kind of like that. Except for it's an A story and the A story is really big and the B story is very small and it includes this much of the Joker. This fucking much. I think that was the fastest piss... In history, high pressure systems. <clears throat> that was the fastest piss in history. Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> Oops. As I break my chair. Chair down. Hold on. This is the part where we're like two or three beers in, we start just <laughs> <laughs> start <laughs> fucking fumbling shit. everything. <laughs> um, basically, the the B part of that Suicide Squad story is so small. It's this fucking big, and the Joker's in it. And people don't like him. I don't know why. No one ever said they didn't like him. I think it was like a visual thing. He did look weird. What I'm pretty sure is people saw him and they're like, yo, that doesn't look like the Joker or something like that. He's got too many tattoos. And I feel like people didn't. Well, it was for a modern day. But anyway, <laughs> he, he played the character well. He played the character well. If there's any argument, it was on the writing. But for the record, if you watch Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, the animated one. And then you watch the Suicide Squad, the live action one, uh, with Jared Leto as Joker and Will Smith as Deadshot. <clears throat> Those character roles. And Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. And Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, which you're right, bro. She fucking nailed Harley Quinn. Uh, if you watch the animated one, just remember all the animated ones are really true to like the characters. What about Margot Robbie and Birds of Prey? I haven't seen it yet. That's the next one I'm going to watch. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I basically, I was like. I, I never wanted to see him, and then eventually I was like, "Fuck it, like I'll go watch it," because they're they're actually good movies. Are you that kind of person who is like they re they'll release a trailer and be like, "I'm never gonna fucking see that because I don't want it to ruin how I think of this." That's a good point, and and this is this is my point exactly. I think people had that take on it to where they're like, "That's not my Joker," because you it's not you the could, Heath Ledger. You gotta yeah, you gotta remember there's a whole generation of. The whole like human race at one point was like that Heath Ledger man, that Heath Ledger performance. That is the Joker. That's the Joker for a lot of people. The Joker, and it's a really good performance, and it's a really good take on Joker. It's really fucking good. It's a shame he passed before he got to see. It really it, is. It win a Grammy or not a Grammy, an Oscar. It really is a shame, but Joaquin Phoenix also did a really good Joker. Ugh. You didn't think so? I don't like that movie. Oh, man. Joaquin Phoenix, dude, did a great Joker. He's also just a weird actor. Here's the thing, though. Uh, Ryan always tells me, DJ Phantom, uh, he's he's a big comic book nerd like me. I didn't actually read all the comic books he has, so he actually has a more vast knowledge of this area than I do. But uh, <clears throat> he is like my Wikipedia. So if you have any questions, hit him up with DJ Phantom. Uh, and basically... Uh, a lot of those characters, the, what I was saying was the, the characters, the personalities in the animated series are basically what the comic books want. So it's like Harley Quinn is like kind of ditzy and flirty and kind of underlying crazy. Whereas the Joker has gone through phases. Uh, he's, he's gone through an evolution. Harley Quinn's always kind of had the same character, but Joker's been the Joker who's like, in this Batman, I only want to make you laugh while killing people. This Joker's like, I'm going to kill people and then joke about it. This other Joker's like, I'm going to kill people, joke about it, and then kill your family in front of you because that is the funniest part. So every kind of iteration of Joker has changed. So you got to remember that. So they were trying out a new version of Joker. It wasn't well received, but because of the aesthetic, I don't agree with that. I think I think character wise, it was played very well. And uh, Margot Robbie uh, is she fucking nailed beautiful. She fuck she is beautiful, but she fucking nailed the Harley Quinn Quinn role. Uh, Will Smith was great at Deadshot. 
Captain Boomerang was kind of off. It was kind of stupid. Who the fuck is Captain Boomerang? Uh, he's an Aussie who throws boom, boom, boomerangs. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, they're, they kind of messed up with King Boomerang, or Captain Boomerang. Uh, and then my only recommendation was instead of, I think they had... I forgot who the fish character was. Uh, I forgot who the fish character was in, in the live action version, but... The shark? Isn't he a number two? He's well in in the animated version. His name is King Shark. Uh, but I think they call him uh, King K- Killer Croc. Yeah, it's Killer Croc in the live action. I would rather see King Shark because I think you could do way more with King Shark than you could do with Killer Croc. And basically, long story short, everyone played their character the way it was written through different iterations of the comic book. People didn't like it because. He had to play a character that was essentially more about um, the crazy and the joke before it was the killing or the drama or, uh, you know, the tension in the character. It was just, it, it was it was the more psychotic side. And, and, and that's the thing is like, when people focus in on that, it was so minuscule in the, in the movie, in the role, that bugs me because it's like, The B-plot of that movie was so small for you to say Jared Leto did a bad job playing that character pisses me off. I think he did a great job playing that character. And the the fact that people write it off has got to be some real misconstrued image of, like, what they think the Joker is. Because it's a little little off, but it's, like, it's good, man. I got to say, like... Well, I mean, just comparing the past Jokers, you got Jack Nicholson, mm-hmm. right? Who is like the older, the Batman. I haven't seen him, but it's like the Mr. Freeze ones mm-hmm. and the Penguin. Mm-hmm. And then you have the Heath Ledger Dark Knight Heath one. Heath Ledger, don't get me wrong. Don't. The takeaway is Heath Ledger is for sure one of the best Jokers. The Dark Knight is but it's also, one of the best. It's also the Joker at different, all the different points. Is what I'm saying is like. The, the first Joker is the Joker Jack who's Nick, like... Jack Nicholson. He's actually telling jokes. You know how the Riddler tells riddles? Mm-hmm. The Joker's actually like, knock, knock. Who's there? C4. Boom. Like, that's his joke. Like the gun with the bang. Yeah, the gun with the bang. The gun's not here to kill you. The gun's here to, like... It's it's a prop. It's about sending a message. Yeah. The Joker, uh, Heath Ledger, is like cynical. It's like, I'm gonna kill everyone. And until they learn, it's not about the money; it's about the message. Like his head into a fucking pencil. That's like that. He, he's like, I'm gonna kill you, and then I'm gonna laugh about it. He just looks fucking dumb, though. The, <sighs> the, that's a picture, though, dude. Like that's no. The, the design of it looks just. I gotta looks take a piss. I'm gonna weird. I'm gonna swig this, take a piss, and drink a third one. He just looks like some fucking. Just frail give your commentary, white dude. Okay, I want you to talk as much shit as possible on him. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna answer to those critiques. On the okay? Jared Leto Joker, that yeah. I, a movie I haven't rip, seen. Rip just his on how asshole. He looks. Go, <laughs> let it in there. Okay, well, first of all, we gotta look at Jared Leto himself. Go pee. Hurry up, because I don't got a lot on this. Take your time. Take my time. Bah. Okay. But that offer stands. I'll give you. I'll give you guys like a week. Postmarked. <laughs> February 24th at 409 exactly seven days from now it's free money send me the Venmo if you guys get the free time you want to see the movie I'll send it back to you uh, I got you for the animated series or the live one I don't care but rent it on YouTube free money to watch a movie who doesn't want that so Jerry Leto already he's got like long hair looks kind of like a white Jesus even though Jesus isn't white but then you look at his Joker and his Joker looks like Every other pale white dude who wants to be an e-boy. Do I have a favorite Joker? I would probably say Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger did an ama- amazing performance in the Dark Knight uh, Batman movie. I also haven't seen Suicide Squad, so I can't really critique Jared Little on his performance as Joker. And I haven't seen the Jack Nicholson Joker. So I, from what I've seen, I'd have to say by default the Heath Ledger Joker but I know a lot of people like the older Batman movies but looking at pictures of Jared Leto's Joker he just looks like a fucking 
he just looks like an idiot. It's just it. I'm not a fan right off the bat. It looks like every other white dude I've seen when I lived in North Hollywood with tattoos. They all had colored hair and they all had a lot of tattoos and they all looked the same. So to make that like a very important character in this very important universe to some people me doesn't yeah Alec doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. But if this is how they First cho- of fucking all, this is how they chose to portray him, all like go ahead. First of fucking all, I want to point out the fact that you opened that when I was living with he looks like a sort of white Jesus as if he's ever been any other any other color before. Jesus is not white. How dare you? What color is Jesus? Jesus is canon- white. canonically he's, white. He's yes. Caucasian blue eyes. In act- oh. in, my Jesus? In, my Jesus? In, in this world? In America? White. In the Middle East? He was a miracle child. Jesus of Nazareth? It was a miracle. In fucking Egypt? It was a, in Jerusalem? He was born white because it's a miracle to be born that in Jerusalem. Separation of church and state, y'all. <laughs> okay. Tighten your mic. I like to keep it loose because I like to move it. I move it all the time. <laughs> as I, go I like to, to move it. <laughs> as I go to tighten the screw that's, that's and it launches <laughs> it forward. It's the other that's one. That's the issue. Three three beers in at 6%. We're going to start actually throwing our, mics, throwing our mics for fucking com, uh, comedic uh, resolve. Can I get another one, please? Of course. There are two more after this. You know who need to get sponsored by is fucking Uber and Lyft or something like drive home safe. That's at like five hundred thousands of followers. Oh, for sure. Anyway, my my point exactly is that it became a meme before it became a video or a movie. Uh, That's the problem of releasing like what everything looks like beforehand. That's what Eminem pointed out on his album too. When he dropped um Revival? Um, Because if you don't have content to judge it off of, you're going to judge it based on how it looks. You're going to have to. That's what you have. When when you when he dropped Revival, he dropped the track list, and he saw that it was like featuring Beyonce. And everyone was like, he better have a song about this, 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 and this. And then they saw a song with Ed Sheeran, and they're like, fuck this whole album. Because Ed Sheeran's a bitch. Because Ed Sheeran was a, you know, a ginger cunt. But... No, I actually really like it. Like a Andrew. singy songwriter. Yeah, and it's like, how do you... And that's the thing. People... The, the issue is people can't visualize. They don't have the vision that these artists and directors do. To where it's like, oh, rapper Eminem with singer Ed Sheeran? Not my Eminem. That's some bullshit, you know? Hell yeah. So when people saw Jared Leto with a face painted white and he was like younger with dyed hair and... Uh, facial tattoos looking like little peep and shit they're like i fucking hate little peep i don't know if you guys know this but like not not me speaking personally but like they're like i don't know if you guys know this but fuck soundcloud rappers like those guys got funny those guys got famous from clout and because we think it's funny and hollywood um, uh hollywood uh, america is like actually turning into a thing because we think this is cool we're doing it to be ironic bitch and then they made memes about it. And it's like, oh, fuck Jared Leto. And then you have this whole fucking mob mentality of like, fuck this actor. Fuck this style. Fuck this, that, fuck. And I'm like, did you give it a try? But did you watch it, though? Did you see it, though? Did you give it a chance, though? And this is my this is my take, too. Like, I didn't like uh, XXXTentacion or Lil Peep or fucking uh, Pick a Rapper. But... Trippy Red. I, I didn't like Trippy Red. But then... One day I sat down and I listened to their album. And I sat down and I listened to a whole album. And I promise you, if you sit down and listen to a rapper or any artist's album, whether it's outside the genre you like or not, you're going to find something that uh, you like and you relate to. What's that say? Untitled Jared Leto slash Joker Project announced the Joker. Sweet. And a Harley Quinn Project as Jared Leto... <laughs> His Joker. Yeah, IMDb is uh, actually super great with up to date uh, and upcoming stuff. Those are just announced. Um. Yeah, but I've, I've never heard of it. It's like announced at like some fucking snobbery club. But Jared Leto did a, he did good, man. I don't know why. And that's the thing. Like, what you got to remember too is like the 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 tight knit Hollywood side 
is like all the people who like movies and who know the characters of DC and who know what it takes to like direct and act, they're going to be like, oh yeah, was Jared Leto easy to work with? And the director's going to be like, yeah, he did a good job. And then guess what? He's going to get his own movie because of that alone. And not be- he, not he because has. you guys make some fucking memes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, It's announced. He has. There's two of them. The Harley Quinn Project and a Joker Project. And that's fucking awesome. And he's in the Zack Snyder's Justice League. Awesome. I heard people... Which it was completed this year. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I've i been following on that tight, bro. I'm super... I've, like I said, I've, I've finished almost every DC movie on HBO Max. Oh, I, I, HBO I'm on HBO Jared Leto's IMDb right now, and I'm looking through like what he's done, uh-huh. and I see the Skrillex and Rick Ross purple Lamborghini video, and I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? Why is he in that? And it's because of it was for it the It was movie. to promote the movie. Yeah, he's playing the Joker in that music video. Yeah. It's for the movie. But it's one of those things that like it bugs me, because it's like you have a bunch of people who don't know. It's like if someone... like. Who doesn't rap or doesn't listen to rap every day like critiques rap? It's like you don't know, but at the same time, it's, it's like if I were to critique rap. Exactly, it's like it's, but it's also like me like critiquing metal or hardcore. Like it's not your place. Exactly, like I told you, like I like melodic hardcore, right? Like yeah. I could probably critique melodic hardcore, but like there's a hardcore side that like you understand, I don't. I just got a lot of... I got like oh. three cracks on one. You ever, you ever crack and feel like the stinging go up your arm? No, because I don't hurt myself. Oh, my body's broke. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah, man. Uh, that's all I really got to say about it is like give, give shit a chance, bro. Like, Don't fall into the hype. Yeah, like fuck the memes. Fuck From your the, own opinions. Yeah, and, and I think I said this before. Like there was a movie called like red baron or whatever about like airplane movies they advertise with like dubstep and shit they're trying to like spice it up for like kids and it was like it wasn't a kids movie by any means but like it was actually a really good historical movie that's like the most tone deaf thing like an executive can do when trying to make an advertisement for somebody like what are the kids like nowadays dubstep okay and that's what yeah that's what i'm saying like here's the thing like most importantly like stay true to your vision right because it's like if you make a world war like one movie basically with like biplanes and shit like stick to that stick to it like if that's your vision stick to that vision it's like when every Vietnam movie ever has the same songs in it ever some folks are born yeah it's like that's the fucking Vietnam song stick to it yeah that's that's in that's in your league and that's okay like some stereotypes like that that's okay because it's it's telling the viewer what to expect but when you have like biplanes and shit getting shot down to like and it's like skrillex and dubstep remixes you're like that's cool but like you no go, you go into this the isn't movie, a video game yeah you go into the movie and it's like it's a great movie but it doesn't fit the characteristic of how you've advertised it yeah flex day fox wants to know what's our favorite film Remember the days. It is a good one. We actually just we we watched a little bit of it today. The other day. Oh yeah, the other day. On Monday. The other day. Um. You know, for me. Also called the beautiful ordinary, which is boring. It's a terrible name. Yeah, that's why there's two titles. <clears throat> um. This is mine. I linked it in the chat. Flex tape. If you want to check it out. It's, it's got. Amber, it's really good. It's got Amber Heard in it, and she is one of my favorite actresses of all time because she's beautiful. I don't care what she did to Johnny Depp. It's besides the point. It's unfortunate. I've moved past it. I like her. That's fair. Um, it's a great movie. It's a good coming-of-age movie. I really like coming-of-age movies because they're like... It's always like... It's always got its heart in the right place, you know? Especially because it takes place in, like, 1999, and that's close enough for us the to relate. to, like, feel it, yeah. You guys, I don't know, like, it, how old you guys are. You don't have to tell me, obviously, but, like, uh, you will eventually have that movie where it's just like, I fucking relate to that. Perks of being a wallflower. <sighs> that shit is realer than anything I've ever seen, bro. That's a good-ass movie, That too. shit is legit, like, as real as it gets. I, re- I just remember, like us watching it and I turn around and you're like you're crying you got like tears I had were, tears running I down had your a face a single tear I remember a single tear I remember seeing a lot more but I remember turning around and be like did you like the movie because I saw it before you did it was my second time seeing it and I turn around like did you like it and you're crying and I'm like oh okay <laughs> I had a single tear it was a moving moment 
as well, I drink my beer. But Perks of Being a Wallflower is a great movie as well. But I would say Remember the Days, The Beautiful Ordinary is one of my is my favorite movie. It's the only movie I have saved on my computer. Remember the Days is a great one. I love, honestly, as embarrassing as this is to like just admit, like I love coming of age movies. I love movies where it's like you figure out who you are and like they help people. Yeah, like you, you like you really like, because I really was that person. That's why I became it, like in the music. You know, it's like you gotta fucking face the adversity and be like, you gotta get called the f word a few times in school before you're like, you know what? The f a word. The f a word. Before you're like, you know what? I'm not that. Um, I, know. I know who I am, and I'm happy to be who I am. Yeah, and that's to tie that back is like that's how you come overcome that like the little suicidal bit you're like you know what fuck that I don't need to commit suicide I need to do me that's when you really learn who you are that's really when you really learn who your friends are and like that that is one of the most powerful things you can take away in a movie so answer the question what's your favorite film it's a tie between the matrix and the fight club <laughs> I know I know here's coming of age movie what's your favorite movie the matrix and fight club I know. Nothing related. <laughs> a little bit. The the movies themselves related, sure, but nothing related to coming of age. For sure not related to coming of age. <laughs> not at all. That's a completely different genre. But the fight club... They're basically, club, basically the same movie, just like one's about like technology, one's about society. One's, yeah, one's, um, what's it called? One is a, a three, like a saga? Uh, a trilogy? A trilogy. Yeah, when there's a trilogy, one's a trilogy and one's a single movie, but like... Honestly, like, they're both really good and, like, another story of, like, overcoming and, like, uh, learning who you are and uh, also just, like, the whole idea of, like, self and who am I, what is this, what is anything, what is society? And it, it makes you question things. I love, I love being able to question things and, like, that's where I draw the line of, like, that's where coming of age movies and the matrix and uh fight club is similar because at the end of the movie you're both like huh maybe i should think yeah maybe i should just quit my fucking job i'm not happy fuck that job like anything anything for me that makes me be like holy shit maybe i should find my boss yeah yeah honestly like anything like that i'm like yo maybe i should steal a whole bunch of people fat make candles (laughs) Make, make bombs but it's like it's one of those things. It's like, yo, that's like, that's what that's what woke is. Fuck the whole fake woke culture, bro. Anything to make you, yo. Know, maybe I too can dodge bullets by <laughs> diving backwards. You know what? You know what woke? You know what being woke is? It's it's not being afraid to question the questions you've already answered. It's your third eye. That's that's what it is. And I love movies like coming of age movies because it's like. Shit, who am I going to be out of high school? Or, like, who am I going to be in the real world? Nobody. Nobody. Or, like, <laughs> I mean... You, you are nobody. And that's and that's what Fight Club is. Fight Club's... You're fucking nobody. Fight Club's literally that. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, those all kind of make sense to me in the same realm. Because it's like, who are you? Who am I? What is anything? What is society? What is anything? Can we change the definition of beer? Can we change... Can we just change words if we all wake up one day and agree that... We call light bulbs deer heads and that a uh, light bulb. If we all wrote that down, I'm going to have to argue that. If we all wrote that down in the history books, that can though, be a turtle show. And that can be a light bulb, but a deer head <laughs> has to be something else. <laughs> <laughs> some, some more satanic. Something else. But you know what I'm saying? Like, the only reason we have these ideas is because we all agree this is, we all agree that this thing holding my liquid beverage is an aluminium can. Is, is Yeah, and we call it a can. The only reason it's called that is because one day we all got together and was like, what do we call this? A can? Oh. Cool. Know. What do we call that? A dog? What do we call that? An orange? That's just a color. All right, we'll call that one an orange, and we'll call a banana not a yellow, but we'll call it a banana. I think they called it an orange just because, and the color came after. I don't know, but, but we don't know. That's what I like to think. Sure. It's what like, came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, it just wasn't the chicken. Uh, the extra chromosome that made it retarded and mutated, but... It's not an extra chromosome, it's just different. At, but but at some point, it's like you have the to... The egg came first. At some point, you have, to, you have to ask yourself these like really crucial questions about who you are and who... And like what is the world around you? Numbers! The world is numbers! Fibonacci sequence. 
the golden one, the golden sequence one three five seven Those eleven are just fucking odd numbers well they start out as odd numbers it's just one plus one plus three plus three plus plus the so it should the be the number behind it one two three five uh, I'm trying to look seven, it up. Man. I'm trying no, to look uh, it up. No, one, one, three, five, eight. Of uh, thirteen, twenty-two. I'm trying to look it up. <laughs> Forty. You get the idea. It's, it's just zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four. It keeps going. Drops the mic. It goes on forever. You were still wrong. I but was okay. <laughs> so wrong. I got to twenty-four. Well, you missed the zero, the one, the one. Okay, well, like, that's because it, dumb. It, it adds the number before it. So the one, I get that. I guess the two, and then the two, you add the one, you get the three. But where do you get where do you where do you get the where where do you get the first one if the first you letter start at number fucking zero. zero and you and where do you get the first fucking first one? Oh my god! Shut up. There's a formula for it. Okay, but for you that's easy to say. But I'm the kind of guy who likes to watch zero one one two three five eight thirteen twenty one thirty four fifty five eighty nine one hundred forty four two hundred thirty three three hundred seventy seven six hundred ten nine hundred eighty seven fifteen hundred ninety seven twenty five hundred eighty four forty one hundred eighty one sixty seven hundred sixty five ten thousand nine hundred forty six seventeen thousand seven hundred and eleven. 2,800. You're 11? 28. I'm 11. 657. 46,368. 75,025. 121,393. 196,418. 317,811. And it makes a perfect spiral. The Jesus, what a monologuist. Okay, as you've been talking for the last solid three minutes straight. I know. About Fight Club. I love Fight Club. Madison Beer loves Fight Club too. It's her favorite movie. Madison Beer. Her her debut will, album is coming out I in will three days. Eat your ass. Okay. I'll eat your ass. I'll listen to your album at least. I'll do both. I'll eat your ass while listening to your album. Talking three about three days. Life support comes out. If you like Madison Beer, if you like pop music, go ahead check it out. <sighs> I know it's good. Damn. Is her debut album. That picture of her and like those angel wings or whatever. Was she on the Victoria's Secret floor? No. That's the hottest shit ever. That you know what you know what's crazy? Like it really is just genetics, right? Like it really is. Like when people are like I know this is an extreme example, but when people are saying shit like, Oh, I'm fat because genetics and some people are like in, in shape because of genetics, like you gotta realize like part of that's true. The reason why the alligator and the crocodile have the strongest bite force, that one. Oh that's her birthday. That's the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Um, the reason alligators and whatever crocodiles have the strongest bite force is because that was passed down through like natural selection. And now what we do is like what we have with here's what, here's the issue. Here's the real issue. We have an economic system where it's like you could okay. be fat and balding, and like your dick can smell like shit, and a in a beautiful model. Who's like a solid ten out of ten working for Victoria's Secret? Well, fuck you because you have a net worth of two million dollars. Here's two single fat dudes telling you about women. I'm talking about the economic system. Okay, continue. That's all I gotta say. Okay, <laughs> here's two single fat dudes. So, granted, I'm a little bit overweight. I'm pretty natural. Talking okay. to you about women, I weigh less than you. First Wham, of all, women. Uh, uh, that's for you. Thank you. That's for you, Jacob. Jacob. Not Jacob. I work with at Target. If you still listen to these, I don't know. No, I know no, you're, no I, one still listens. I to know this. you're not here live. I know that for a fact. Fact. I forgot what I was saying. Regardless, do uh, I get to talk about esports now? Yeah, talk about esports. Why not? Let's go. How long so, are we going? Uh, hour. 31 fuck yeah dude we're killing these the, they're we, easy when we're live it's way it's way better it's the same really i feel like the time it's goes just, faster it just adds it's it's i feel super engaged and i drink a little more too so that's always a plus so we're watching before this before uh, we started we were watching call of duty because that's my esport of choice that's my home i've been playing the game for like a solid 13 he's ranked in 13 years. Josh I'm not is ranked, ranked anymore. Josh is ranked in the top 1% of hardpoint. Used to be. I haven't I haven't played in solid like four months. 
uh but call of duty is my thing it's i've always been good at it i've been playing it for a long time but i i like to point i like to watch other esports too i watch uh counter-strike Lula legends smite uh dota only when it comes to the international i watch really all esports i i like them they're cool but i've noticed that only certain regions win titles when it comes to call of duty a european team usually never wins it's always a north american team when it comes to smite back in the day at least the past two seasons a north american team has won but when it comes to smite european teams win when it comes to league of legends north american teams never win it's always an asian team asian teams usually always win in the finals when it comes to Dota, it's kind of a mixed bag. I believe the last team to win was French. It <laughs> <France>. was <laughs> it was the Red Bull team. I love Red Bull. It was um, OG, OG Origin, I think. <clears throat> and when it comes to Counter Strike, it's mainly European winning majors. So, when it comes to each game, they have their own region winning major events. But all all areas are usually playing these games, but one region is usually superior. And it's just something I've noticed over time. And I can't really explain why. My take on that was it's just fucking regional, right? Like, let's say you live in California. Like, it was only a matter of time before we tried Cali Creamin. It was only a matter of time. If you live in North Korea or South no South Korea, they don't have video games in North Korea. That sucks. Could you imagine not having video games because you live in North Korea? I mean, you wouldn't be exposed to it, so you don't know. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah, but it's like, but it's also like imagine like living in Japan and like moving to America and then like all your porn all of a sudden is like not blurred out. <laughs> like that's fucking magical. That's fucking magical, dude. Unless they still stick to, like, some Japanese websites that are crazy. But anyway, it's like all your friends are like, hey, you need to play Dota. That's just big in Korea. So Korea gets really good at Dota. Uh, all your friends in America go, hey, you should play Call of Duty. So all your friends uh, get... Almost threw up. <laughs> all, all your friends get really good at Call of Duty. That's all I got. This is you. This is you supposed to talk about it. Yeah. I've just... I've All I've noticed is that certain regions are good at certain games. Is that racist? No. I mean... It's just an observation. That's what I'm saying. Like Most of the StarCraft winners are Korean. It just happens to be a thing. Most... Why, why is it popular there then? Like, you gotta ask. Like, I have no idea why people in Korea like to play StarCraft or <laughs> RTS or other sort of MOBAs. I don't know why the top players of League of Legends happen to be Korean. That's just a thing. It's a well-known fact. It's like if you go to prison. Like, you either get good at sucking dick or raping people. Or killing people. Or kill, or kill, killing's, killing's option C. But it's like, if you want some cigarettes, suck my dick. Or trade for some other cigarettes. But like, trade. When, when you're in prison, those are the rules, right? It's like... So the rules of being Asian are you good at League of Legends. <laughs> You sign that contract right out as soon as you come out. Well, they do the one child policy Asians and are then smart, man. Asians are fucking wicked smart. They sign off on the one child policy and <laughs> will be good at League of Legends. Could you imagine? That's what fucking it's a girl. Checked, check. It's check. a girl. It's not good at League of Legends or fit to be a man. Coal mine. Dumpster. Coal mine. Check and check. Male, check. League of Legends, check. Will be master's rank in two months. Gotcha. Two months old, fucking kicking dick in the States. Is I mean, like, I don't know why a North American team will always, at least for Call of Duty, will always win a championship compared to a European team, which always fall short. When they've had the game for the same amount of time and they play the same way. And what makes what, what makes them better? Are they are they more? Well, European teams higher usually, dexterity. They're always just compared to fully Europeans. They don't mix. Uh, Why not? I don't know. They just don't. I don't know. 
They can because the way it's franchised now, anyone can be on any team. It doesn't matter. You know what's crazy? You know what's fucking crazy? I just realized this. Esports is a sport. You finally realize this? You're finally on my side? How many women play in the esports league? They're actually made fun of for it. They don't... They're tried to be... They're very women, suppressed. <laughs> women can't do sports. They can. They're just very suppressed in esports. But we talked about that in all the other things, too. Like Downstairs, we were like... With, oh, the softball, the softball thing, the softball video. Baseball is so much harder than softball. Okay, well, try to hit one of my pitches. Okay, pitches 450 down the middle. Cranks not miles it out of hour. the stadium. But still, this dude hits her pitch, hits a home run. It's like, okay, well, baseball is easier than softball, I guess. But that's the thing. Is like I was saying. Like, but it's the same game. It's not different. <laughs> bigger balls. Esports is the same game. You're all playing the same game. But that's the thing is like I was pointing out I was like yo like isn't it crazy like those the WNBA got established one day because women played with men and men whooped their ass. Sure. Is that is that a safe assumption? Sure. Is that a safe assumption? Maybe, I guess. And but it's like a a, bo- a guy can throw a ball harder and faster than a woman can scientifically. We have proven. more muscle thicker bone density but when you ha- you're handed a controller you move at the same rate as your sensitivity is set so everything is equal it's more balanced it's just reaction time that's the only differentiating factor mm-hmm. and they still don't have that i guess they still don't the, my point being is like how many times does it have to prove because like look i'm not saying Girls can't play football. I'm not saying girls can't do this or girls can't do that. I'm just saying those leagues are separate for a reason. The UFC fighter who's cracked three cisgender female skulls, who's a transgender fighter, probably shouldn't be fighting in the in the female league. Probably not. Maybe make a transgender league. Maybe make an LGBTQ plus league. I don't know, but that's not going to work out. Make a new rules league. Make, yeah, that's not going to work out. People are, like, and that's the thing, like, esports, nobody gets hurt. Football, better chances of getting hurt. Basketball, you could probably play basketball and not get hurt. Baseball, probably play baseball and not get hurt. But there's some sports where you can't play with, uh, Contact sports. What's the word? Co-ed. You can't do like co-ed sports. But you can't have co-ed showers. But you can't have co-ed showers. But there's like one point where you can't cross that anymore and not like guarantee your safety. No. So You sign that waiver. Yeah. So I'm not saying girls can't do this or girls can't do that. I'm just saying historically... <laughs> Historically, it doesn't bode well for them. It doesn't look great. No. Granted, there are athletes who are women who could smoke me in whatever their... Tennis. Whatever, yeah. You kick my ass in tennis. You can kick my ass in basketball. Kick my ass in hockey. You can kick my ass in whatever sport you choose that you do. But the thing is, I don't do those things. If you were up against a male athlete who do does those things, the tables turn Ooh. quick. I, rem- I remember that at some point during the SPL, this might pro league, there was a European team that had a substitute player. She w- happened to just be the female mid leader for this team that was substituting. And they won a few games with a female mid laner. And it was huge smite news at the time. It was like 2016, 2017, a Ooh. while ago. I have no idea where she is now. What they're doing now it's probably not playing anymore because people ruin it for everybody how they ruin it Did they call her sexism i don't know probably really i haven't kept up on it i have no idea i don't follow europeans do you think sexism can ruin a man's career not as easily like if, if a bunch of women were just like hey terry cruz what's with the muscles <laughs> you think eventually he'd be like it'd be not he'd be like he'd be easy. like you know what I'm going vegan I'm not gonna work at the gym 
it's or, or do you think or do you think it's one of those things like no one's gonna tell Madison Beer like hey what's with looking sexy all the time it's not as easy I think but there's gotta be some middle ground some middle road at some point uh, that like there doesn't have to be there, I mean there should be doesn't have to be though that's the key word but there probably is sure <laughs> like so let's for, not ignore it for a guy it's just be like okay well he raped me and it could be oh a, i mean you true, go way it could be a true or false accusation guys can get raped too sure but nobody talks <laughs> but about by that guys no how dare yeah. you all right how dare you can women rape yes they can have you ever been raped by a no woman? i personally have not but it still can happen not everyone likes sex not everyone's you, man. You, you know, I've actually met a bunch of people who were asexual. Ace. They call them ace. Call themselves ace. Good for them, I guess. Does, I just, does I just the community point that call out. them that? Yep, they call themselves ace. That's pretty cool, A-C-E. I guess. I'm ace. Cool. Sexual starts with an S, so you guys probably figured that out first. <laughs> Y'all didn't go to school very much, I guess. I'm sick. Sack. If you put an S before Ace. I mean, they could just put the S <laughs> in Ace and not a C. S and Ace? Say it. Ace. It's just with an S and not a C. It's ass. <laughs> ass. That's two S's. I'm ass. With an A-S-E, it's still Ace. I'm ass at sex. A-S-E is still Ace. I'm ass. Someone doesn't know English. I don't know anything. Okay. Well, point is, women can still rape. That's besides the point. If you're a victim of sexual abuse, there are hotlines for you, I guess. <laughs> Call them. See, I don't know the hotlines off the top of my head. That's the adult in my head, too. Is like, I want to say that, but it's also like... I ace. 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 Ass. It's ass. I'm an ally. Reach out to my DMs. I'll, you know, I'll be there. I'll talk to you if you want. I will basically just pay for your DC uh, YouTube. He'll pay for your movie you want to watch. (laughs) I'll actually talk to you if you need to talk to somebody. But Mm. the Instagram below our video feed is for the channel. It's for two dudes drinking beer. But I usually look at those. I don't know what he does on the shared account. Uh, I usually just watch the material and make sure it's uh, loud. (laughs) Because the last one wasn't loud, so I turned this one up. We should be good. Cool. Or unless you have anything else, you know, I'm pretty... We're good. Spent? Yeah. All right, well, Flex State Fox, and who's the other gentleman? Jimmy was here. Jimmy was here. Um, Jimmy M- Jimmy's M.A. Jimmy's M- M.I.A.? M.A. Massachusetts? Jimmy's Ma. Jimmy's Ma. Hey, Jimmy's Ma. Uh, thanks for kicking it with us. Uh, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real, real fun. Josh will do the outro. He always does. Thank you, Flex Tape. Thank you, Jimmy's, for being here. You know, my name is Josh. My name is Alec. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll probably be here on Saturday. It's a maybe if we're live or not. But, you know, always our YouTube channel. They'll be there. Uh, visit 2 Dudes Drinking Beer and check out Jack Jaw. That's all we, that's all we got. That's all we got. Bye. I gotta pee. And the stream. I'm working on it. And the stream. Working on it. And the stream. I'm working on it. And the stream.